Okay, good day everybody. This is a demo for a game called Devil's Hideout. The description reads... Devil's Hideout is a horror point and click adventure. Lauren learns from a mystic that her young sister is still alive, with cultists staging her death. Travelling to the hospital where her sister received care, Lauren plunges headfirst into a nightmare. Ooh, spooky. Um... The release date is the 10th of September 2024, so five months from now, supposedly. Uh, okay, um, I think that's all I have to say. Let's uh, click New Game. An empty grave, you say? No surprises there, Lauren. Your sister is not dead. Impossible. I saw Beth in the hospital. Her eyes were closed. You witnessed what they wanted you to see. They choose to keep you, keep her with them. You'll find her among spirits in the space between here and the abyss. Among spirits? You said she's not dead. Not dead, not alive, in between. Go back to the hospital where they tended to your sister. You'll need a spirit radio to contact her. You can find one on the, back, on the black market. Be ready to cough up a fortune. Luckily I've got my old slightly battered one here just for 999. Wow, that's a lot of money. Position it to the lowest spot you can find. Then just wait and listen for it, huh? It might take a while. What do they want with her? Why did they go to such lengths for faking to her death? That I can't say. Devil cultists are a screwy bunch. It's possible her spiritual level is special. No matter what, steer clear of the authorities. The cultists would catch wind and Beth would, would vanish for good. Anyway, off you go. <laughs> My four o'clock is due any minute. Lovely. <laughs> uh, so this is it, the place where Beth passed away. Well, not really, if I'm trusting the medium. Beth is just ten. What sort of monsters are we dealing with here? I'm by your side, Lauren. If Beth is here, we'll track her down. Let's kick things off with the radio. The medium can recommend it putting it in a low spot. Okay, let's start there. You know, this hospital is strangely silent for a medical facility. It wasn't like this when Beth was brought here, after the car crash. There were sirens, blaring relatives, visiting patients, getting discharged. This place gives me the creeps. Let's just get on with what we came here to do. Uh, red globes mean new interactions with a hot spot are available. Huh? Blue means the latest one will repeat. Okay. Right, so what we got up here? Oh, that's the menu. Uh, our inventory, ready communication, ready to communicate with the spirits. Uh, is there anything more I can do with that? No. Atticus, my rock, anchor, and unwavering support. Okay, well, let's speak to him. Articus, I can't thank you enough. Uh, you've been my constant support, my anchor. You know I've got your back. Would I ever let you face this alone? Especially after you dropped the bombshell about some freaks faking Beth's death. I don't go for demented mediums babbling nonsense. But if there's a chance Beth is alive, I had to be here. I can't believe... I can't budge the lid. It's too heavy. Okay. Smells like pee. <laughs> As it should. Yeah. Lauren, don't we need to locate a spot to set the radio at first? Good call. That's our top priority right now. Even that building over there appears deserted. Freaking ghost town vibes all around. 
Anything else to click on? Parking lot. Okay, right. Let, let's let's put this in the parking lot. So much for my master plan. Oh. Dumpster. Must be on the wrong wavelength here. Well, that was a swing and a miss. <laughs> Guess my genius moment will have to wait. So much for my master plan. Okay, so where am I supposed to be putting this? A place low. Does it have to do that every time it opens? Let's click on him. Where should we drop this radio? Medium should have said should be a low spot. Got to find some place deep. Do we go to the parking lot first? Put something in the car? No, I'm thinking it's a good place to follow up on the medium's instructions. Oh god. Dark. Car's still here untouched. Someone stealing it would almost be a blessing. That old thing's more hassle than it's worth. How would we make our way hit back then? I'll just carry you. On those broad shoulders of yours? You know it. Okay, so clearly they've got a thing going on. Um, I leave. Driveway. Floor's damp and kind of gross. I used to head... I used to head straight for the car lighter whenever I crave the smoke. But after my father had passed away and Beth became my responsibility, I never felt the urge for a smoke again. Uh, let's... Here? What do you think? Is this floor low enough for the radio? Should do the trick, unless you're up for going even lower. Is it down another floor? No way, Jose. Then this floor it is. Let's get it all set up. There we go. Is there anything here? Nothing that sounds like Beth yet. What's the plan now? While you wait for a signal on the radio, I should go inside. Inside? The hospital? No way am I letting you go in there alone, Lauren. Articus, I have to. I might find some evidence that it's not a regular hospital. That the people here abducted Beth. Meanwhile, someone's got a stick by the radio. That's crazy, Lauren. If there really is our cultists in this hospital, you need me with you. Articus, I'm going. You hold down the fort here. I'll slip in quietly. Doesn't seem like anyone caught wind of us yet. If things go south, I'll sprint back to your big strong arms. You better. Right, okay. Fuse box. There's a fuse missing. Can you fix it? Not without a spare fuse. Shoot. What's this ventilation? Looks like there might be something up there, but it's too high for me to check out. Uh, okay, I guess we're leaving. Can I do that? Anything. Nothing yet, just static. If it turns out that medium sold us a piece of junk, then we'll have to pay her an angry visit. Alright, let's go to the hospital. Right, let's have a little tour of this hospital. Seriously, this place is too quiet for a medical facility. First on my list is the operating room where they treated Beth. That's it, the room where they operated on Beth. Seems like it's been sitting idle for ages. It's almost like I imagined the whole thing. Beth lying there with her eyes closed. Where are you, Beth? Are you still alive? I promise I'll find you. I like the um, Silent Hill-esque music. Uh, left cabinet. The bottom is empty and the top contains all kinds of medical equipment I don't really need. Surgical tray. Found a sound amplifier in the surgical tray. It's placed. Workstation. Just like all the workstations are out of commission. Surgical light. The light casts a glow on Beth's pale face. 
She looks so peaceful. Right, cabinet. Let's take a look here. There's a diary with some entries all written in red ink. Each entry has its own title and the first one is labelled Blood. The entry goes, The blood of salvation shall revive the fallen and devotion shall triumph over death. What the heck? The rest of this mum mumbo jumbo seems to be more of the same. Looks like all these workstations are out of commission. Oxygen tank. Ooh, an oxygen tank. See what I did there? Uh, no. I guess... I, uh, whatever. <laughs> Operating table. This is where... Beth was lying, eyes closed, not a breath in her. I had blacked out when the car crashed. When I came to, I saw Beth was in bad shape. Then the siren wailed and the red light of an ambulance approached. I lost consciousness again. Right, anything else for us to check? The only thing that I don't like about the like point and click stuff is the pixel hunting. Hopefully there isn't too much of that. Um, and of course the the stupid combinations that don't necessarily make sense. Um, Amplify sound currently dead. Okay, so I guess we need to find a battery. Although she said it had been like she didn't say it was our battery, did she? It was like broken. But a occultic book with entries like blood, death, coal. You can't right click them either or middle click. It is only left click, seemingly. Wonder, can I control click? Shift, hold. No, okay. But it is only left click and you can do. Shoot, the lights just went out. Holy crap, what is that thing? Seriously, what the hell are you? I have to get out of here. Oh god, that man's eyes have been gouged out. Why would you pull off something so messed up? Okay, that jump scare thing has really put a dampener on the situation. I I hope there isn't too many of those because that, that was not... What am I trying to say? It ruined the creepy atmosphere. It was laughable. Uh, anyway, waste bin. Uh, the trash got a mushy banana peel and an empty chocolate wrapper. So did she not see this bloke on the way into the operating table? Operating room, rather. Hospital bed. Seems like they up and left the hot this hospital in a hurry. To the morgue. Reception. Reception 2 is a ghost town, no one around. Computer, a workstation, it's unresponsive. That looks like a button that you can push, but it's not apparently. That's a dead man. He's gone. Was he part of the medical staff here? Can I... Oh, that was a swing and miss. Alright, okay. To the Morgan. No luck with the morgue door, it's jammed. The workstation has gone haywire because of the power blip. Ah, so we're looking for a fuse to get the power back on. Uh, right, go outside. I've seen something freaky in the operating room where Beth, they tend to Beth. What? Uh, what kind of freaky thing? Couldn't tell you, definitely nothing natural. Not natural? Like, not of this world, not anything that should exist. The whole scene was like a nightmare, living a nightmare. Please don't go wandering anymore. Stick with me until we get some kind of signal on that radio. I can't do that. If there's a lead on what happened to Beth, I need to uncover it. Just watch your back, Lauren. I can't stand the thought of something happening to you. Right. Anything in the dumpster now? Oh yeah, I can't buy just the heavy lift. Ah, did. Alright, to the parking lot. Uh, 
uh, can you fix it? No. All right, okay. Yeah, just the same stuff as usual. What does Prince even sound like? As long as I don't start howling, I'm fine with whatever noise they make. Can't stand howling. Okay, so what, what, where, the, the, oh, maybe I could give this to Articus. Oh, no. I'll show him this. No? Uh, maybe there is pixel hunting. Hmm. Let's see, can we... Oh! Nothing, the sound amplifier is completely out of commission. Ah. Oh. Well, I was on to something then. Oh! Hey big guy, feel like popping open this dump for me. When you're planning on digging through trash, were we? That trick question. Spot anything intriguing? Dumps of bust, just a couple of boxes and this totally soaked fuse. It's kaput. Kaput? Not saving that one. Oh god, it's been. Can I put it in there? Oh, okay. I've been pissing about for ages just using him. Or I can, and then all of a sudden that happens. So. Cool. Don't play with wet fuse in the fuse box. Like, I totally knew that. <laughs> Alright, so how do we dry off this fuse? Uh, This is what I meant by I was hoping um, it wouldn't be one of those weird situations where, well, I don't know, it's probably my own stupidity there, I probably should have used him. Uh, let's try using him on everything here. Hey, mind if I stand on your shoulders? I want to take a peek. Look at that pipe. Up on, lady. What do you see up there? There's a small key. And a big plump candle. Why would anyone toss these up here? Candles have a knack of ending up in the most unlikely of places. Well, this one's unexpectedly weighty. Why would that be? It's just wax. Is it really though? Okay, so now we have uh, a particularly plump candle. Okay, a small key. Can I? Investigate the key? No, okay. What would I do with this candle? Maybe I put it in a surgical tray for some reason? No, okay. Can I combine it with... Any of this? No, okay. What about the key? I put wax in the dead man's eyes. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Stuck again. Oh, I could use the car lighters to melt the wax. Okay, I called it. There's more to this than just wax. Okay, so it's definitely going to be one of those games where you just do weird things. But all right. Turns out it's been concealing a memory stick. What's the deal with hiding that in a candle? Pocket sized vault for digital data. Okay. Do we use that on one of the um one of the workstations? 
I thought the room was digging, but nothing happened. Okay. Let's plug it in. Oh, okay, this one does something. The computer appears to be executing the program. Okay. There's a program running in the background. Oh. I know this game, I used to play it as a kid. Uh, you win by switching off all the lights. Oh, okay. One of these. Um, there is a trick to these, but I can never remember what it is. Um, <laughs> isn't it something like you get it to the corner? I don't know how I did that. Uh, yes, in your face game. Hey, look at that. A slot just opened up. Find a medical sponge. Ew. I'll help myself. I'll just help myself. Right, okay. Medical sponge on that. Where's that sponge? If it's tough enough for blood, it can handle drying up this too. Hey, good of new. Right, okay. I would say we're getting places, but it won't be long before I get stuck again. That should have sorted something out. I've already plugged in the new shoes. Okay, so now we should go back in. Ah, anyone in the morgue? Doesn't seem like it. Well, at least not anyone still kicking. I hope there wasn't anybody in the morgue, because if the fuse has been out, then... Whoever it is in here would also be dead. Anyway, shelving unit. These shelves are stocked with various post-mortem solutions. There's also a small battery. There we go, popped in the battery. And sound sound amplifier is good to go. Alright, let's um we do this. Alright, here it goes. No, no, it's just electric, stat electrostatic. All right. Are we going to use it on this to see if we can find... Ah, oh, okay. I was going to say if we can find, like, something really quiet in one of the lockers. Trash. Cod. Is that a piece of someone's ear in the trash? Oh, God. Not cod. <laughs> piece of someone's ear. Lovely. Cabinet stocked up with morgue supplies. Body bags, masks, and such. Not my kind of essentials. Oh, I'd hope not. Examination table. The examination table is unoccupied. The body is too large to be best. No need to check it then. All the freezers are locked. Small key unlocked one of the freezers. Luckily for me, luckily for me, there's no body. I breathe a sigh of relief. Something glints at the back. It's a petri dish containing a small colony of bacteria. The colony seems shriveled, as if it's been deprived of something. Okay. Uh, light, I guess. Do we go back to the? And use a surgical light. No. Hmm. Oh, oxygen maybe. Let's search for the petri dish for some oxygen. Fascinating. The oxygen kick starts the bacteria's growth. It's growing, expanding to spell out a word: lamb. Still can't do anything with the workstations. I should decipher the code first. Before I already had. 
Oh, okay, interesting. There's an entry with the code word lamb. It's what it says. From darkness, a glimmer did flame. From swirling death, a breath of light. A god from, be from beyond did speak verses of life prevailing over the shadow of death. The sacrifice of the lamb shall fulfill the pledge and pure bloodshed shall shed. The Lamb shall bear the name Beth, in her he will live, in her he will reign. This is insane. Atticus needs to hear about this right now. Atticus, where are you? Are you around? Where could you be? The radio switched off, I saw Atticus using a remote to operate that thing. Is Atticus in the car? Looks like he's still away. No, this can't be happening. What have they done to you? They put a steel bait on as well. I'm so sorry, all this is on me. I should never have dragged you into this. It's all my fault, all of it. You were always there for me, Atticus. Why did he put his seatbelt on? That's so weird. Unless he was trying to escape or something, I don't know. He's gone. You will always be in my memories, Atticus. I found a radio control in his pocket, his jacket pocket. Uh, yeah, that's the same, we've read that before. He's gone. I'll never forget you, Atticus. Oops. There, the electronic squeaks are back. Alright, let's give this thing a listen and see if anything comes through. Beth? Beth, is that you? Lauren. Right here, Beth. Lauren, it's so cold in here. I want to go home. Beth, help me find you, baby. Lauren. You should never have come here. Okay, well, that was that then. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, um, the music was probably the best part, if I'm being honest. But, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, this was fun. I, I enjoyed this. I did get stuck a few times and felt like the solution wasn't obvious but that may be my own idiocy um i didn't mean to click through the credits i was trying to do i was trying to get out of the game that uh, tab out so i could have a look um uh, okay so i i, I am going to put this in my wish list still so add to your wish list lovely because i was intrigued by it um what else do they have Cosmic Void. The Corruption Within. Ah, oh, so this looks like a similar game. And it's currently on sale for, two, for £1.79. I think I'm going to buy that actually, just uh Okay, so I bought The Corruption Within, which is their previous game seemingly. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to give that a go as well and then I will decide whether I want to buy Divul's Hideout but I have enjoyed this, this was pretty good I like the um, oh, well, I like all of it really uh, other than that of obviously me getting stuck but again that could be my own idiocy I, I'm going to try out as I said their previous game see how easy or hard it is uh, and then depending on what the solutions are to things I might end up buying this um obviously not till september when it's out uh at least that's the planned release date uh is there anything else i want to say i not really i i, I say i i like the style the pixel style i like the the writing and stuff uh, the only thing i would 
ask is that there's voice acting, but I, I doubt they're going to put voice acting in this. Um, but it's just because of, um, I don't like doing voices and stuff because it hurts my throat. But maybe we'll worry about that if I do get the game. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this, me blundering around and eventually stumbling through it. Uh, yeah, have a good day everyone. Bye.